Today we're in Auburn Hills, Michigan at the Michigan Department of Transportation office on Lapeer Road just north of I-75. But back in 1976, this was the home of Michigan's largest Winnebago dealership. If I remember right, it was called Sherry's RV. And at one point in time, it had something really special happen here. You can see we're coming in for a landing. Sherry's RV was home to a special visit from Winnebago's promotional department featuring the Gila Home, Winnebago's own custom motorhome helicopter. Isn't this incredible? These things never really took off, but it was a super idea. Really cool, really expensive, and high end for the time. Heat, air conditioning, refrigerator, 8-track stereo system, and a range of 300 miles on 200 gallons of fuel. Kind of a pricey way to travel. Even back then when gas prices were about a buck a gallon or less. You can see the building's been heavily modified from what it used to be as the motorhome dealership. But, you know, it's still here in its general form. And right behind it was their service garage for the motorhomes. There's two buildings back here that were part of the compound. And I can't remember which one was built first. I believe the second one back here was built after the State Highway Department took over, but you know, I'm kind of sketchy on my memory of that. Can you imagine, though, flying your motorhome to wherever you wanted to go? Although, you know, there are issues being able to land where you want to land and take off safely. Um, like I said, the range of 300 miles and 200 gallons of fuel, although you could reach an altitude of 8,000 feet. It was quite an interesting design and a great idea. They only sold either six or eight of them, depending on the source you look at, and all of them have been converted back into industrial use. None of them are still being used as motorhomes. But again, this is probably mostly forgotten piece of Pontiac, Auburn Hills his history, when this was the largest Winnebago dealer in Michigan. And this little arced area out front here was where they had the display pads and all the motorhomes set out for everybody to see. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little flashback to mid-70s American culture. And leave a comment below if you remember Sherry's RV, if I got the name right. And if you remember actually coming by here to visit the helicopter when it made an appearance here. I know I did, and it was pretty cool to see. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and bye for now.